Hey, I was looking at atomic structure and the movements of the electrons, and here I have a very quick example of something I've put together. So here I've got my simple controls here, and the first one, orbit scale, is pretty much the distance between the first orbit and the nucleus. So if I move this, you'll see there. Second one is orbits, so it's pretty much how many orbits I have, so for example, like that. Third one is resolution, and as you can see, it's pretty much the detail in each circle. The fourth one is resolution bias. Now, when you duplicate circles going outwards and you have the same point count, they tend to lose detail a bit. So if I've got a bias, which as it goes out, it adds more points onto the outer rim. So then it still maintains that same resolution. So you can probably see it. I crank this up. So that's that one. And then if I go back to my orbit spread here, now this is just the distance between the orbits, like so. So if I go back. Now for now the electrons are just stuck onto the orbits, but if I show you the movements of the circles, I get this really nice beginning motion. And that was that for this example, just some simple atomic movement, which is pretty cool.